Hello and welcome to episode 16 of Vokta Gaming. I am your host, the vocal terrorist, Jesse Ray. Now, before we begin, I have a few things to apologise about. First of all, this game should have happened yesterday, but didn't. Uh, my friend Matt had come to stay, and I slept on the floor. When I woke up, I was having an extreme allergic reaction to whatever the hell is on this floor, which is probably a sign I need to vacuum. However, like, I could barely open my eyes. So, uh, obviously, like, that would have given a new meaning to casting a game blind, <laughs> as it were. So I had to put it off till today. I am feeling a bit better. Um, I can see now, which helps. My eyes still do sting, as you can probably hear. My nose is still incredibly blocked and awful. And I do keep having bouts of uh, horrendous, horrendous coughing. So, um, I've also chosen a different game for today. We still do have Dong Regu, but this is a much shorter ZVZ than the one I'd planned to cast, because my voice is just not going to stand it for the next couple of days. This also means, pardon me, this also means that the Terra vs Protoss White Ra show match that was going to happen on Friday will now happen next Tuesday instead. But it is worth waiting for, so that will be excellent. Right, as obviously I want to get this over pretty much as fast as possible, so we're going to get straight into this game. This map is Metalopolis. And we have Dong Regu over here on the west, spawning as the Blue Zerg. And on the east, we have I am Junhui as the Red Zerg. Now, again, remember the theme of this week is Zerg vs. Zerg, and the how the small changes you can make at the beginning of the match can change what happens. And that's something that I do hope we're going to see here. Dong Regu, I want to talk about him a bit. Incredible, incredible player. I do believe he is in now, in fact, uh, qualified for Code A, finally. His Zerg vs Terran is an absolute thing of beauty, but this is not what we are getting to see today. Today we get to see his Zerg vs Zerg, which of course at the start involves drones and extractor tricks. I've spoken about the extractor trick enough lately that if you've been watching, you know what it is. If you're watching this, you probably know what it is anyway, because why else would you be watching me unless you're my fiancé? who does watch every video so thanks fiance love you <laughs> um, Zerg vs Zerg is incredibly slow to start especially between two really good players because what you're going to be seeing very early on is expansions, it's drones and expansions you want to make as little units as possible because I've spoken about this before and I will speak about it again Zerg is all about creating the potential to create units. And now I'd like to point this out. There is a spawning pool going down in Iron Jumbi's base before the expansion. Whereas, over here we see Dong Regu expanding before the spawning pool goes down. Very, very interesting. What this means, of course, is that Dong Regu's economy is going to far, far exceed that of Iron Jumbi Prime. So what I am Jun Wee needs to do is use the Zerglings he'll have to either somehow force uh, a cancel on this hatchery or destroy it or kill a lot of drones to make the economies equal again, to make it worthwhile having on that early spawning pool. As we note here now, a Roach Warren going down for I am Jun Wee. This is really interesting, going very, very quick Roaches. Still no expansion going up. This Overlord is eventually going to spot that. As both players now will know where the other is. As we see these Zerglings now popping out. No speed upgrade started as of yet for I Am Jun Wee. Wanting to get those Roaches up. But here we do see the spawning pool is finished. And Dong Regu is going straight for Zergling speed. This is going to give him a nice advantage when that does finish. However, these Roaches could absolutely destroy the game very, very quickly. Roach is a very strong unit. Combine them with Speedlings, as I'm sure I am Jumi is going to do. However, I need to point out again that Dong Regu has this expansion, and in fact, is now going for a Baneling Nest instead of Roaches. Going for Speedling Baneling. Now that can be so effective. The Bailings are not incredibly good against the Roaches, but what the Bailings will do... 
Overlords. We see the Queen here just forcing the Overlords to go away. What the Bailings will do is kill every single one of your opponent's speedlings, allowing your Zerglings to then get a really good surround on the Roaches and attack. As we see a defensive spine crawler going down here. Still no expansion for I am Junwe. He is pretty much dedicated to doing something with these roaches now. It is a horrible position to be in, having not expanded, having only just started to get Zergling speed as well. He's really behind now. In terms of economy, this could be a potentially game ending situation very, very soon. Should Dong Regu attempt to use these bailings aggressively? We will see. These roaches need to do something. They need to do damage. However, there is a lot here. There are spine crawlers, two queens, speedlings, and forward go the bailings. Bailings getting right in there now, exploding on the roaches, not doing an incredible amount of damage, but there are no speedlings left there now. Or oh, sorry, zerglings, as there are no speedlings at all, of course, for I am Jimmy. Very, very well defended there by Dong Regu. He's not going to be able to get past this easily at all. And that attack is pretty much over, forcing him to go home. As we see now, now dropping the expansion, realising how far behind he is in terms of economy. As we see, an entire force of speedlings now doing some scouting. We'll be moving forward to attempt a slight pressure. Speed is now finished for Iron Junwei. He, if he can force this, uh, ha this hatchery to cancel, it is pretty much game over. As he will be so far behind in economy, Zerg needs these bases up. Zerg is just not a race that can handle one, one basing. And as we see, is doing some damage, but not enough. That ramp is very, very defensible with the two roaches there to tank. However, all it takes is a couple of bailings to kill every last one of these speedlings. Needs to be really, really careful. Well, as we look back at the base of Dong Regu, we can see him really start to shoot ahead now in food. 52 to 41. As we see this speedling attempted to do some scouting. Isn't going to see an awful lot though. No tech structures here whatsoever. So simply sees the one gas and the hatchery that he already knew was there. And now we see a large force of speedlings moving out. Along with four bailings being morphed right here. This is going to be absolutely devastating. This attack, if timed properly. If he can get those bailing hits in the right place, these speedlings are going to go down. There is just not enough defence here. I am Junwei attempting to drone hard, but it's not going to work in his favour. Everything in here is just going to die. All these bailings hit. Oh, the drones and the speedlings go down, and there's the GG from I am Junwei. That did not work at all. As we saw there, these small decisions that you can make in a Zerg vs Zerg. Choosing to go for the early spawning pool instead of the hatchery. Choosing to go for that roach aggression while Dong Regu set up his second base was a very, very poor decision. As what it forces you to do is, it forces you to do something aggressive. You have to do that to even the economy out again. And he just was unable to do it. Dong Regu is such a good player. He's not going to fall to an early roach aggression at all. And so that is everything for today's game. I am now probably going to go back to bed because I feel absolutely horrendous. But I did wake up to give you this game. So I hope you appreciate. Don't forget, join us in the chat at irc.funetic.net hash gaming. Join us in EVE and our corporation, Dathmora. D-A-T-H-M-O-R-A. And of course, send me your StarCraft 2 replays to Vokter Gaming, V-O-C-T-E-R Gaming, at gmail.com. Please, please, please do that. I'm looking forward to casting some of your games in the future. That is everything for today. I will be back tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching.